I figured it out. 550 in the Capra. Take a look. Before I get into the details on this, you gotta know it may void some warranties. There is some trimming on the back side, and I also had to file just a little bit of the heat sink on the motor. I've seen online different people comment about, you know, fitting the Reese 99 Micro Servo. Well, this is how I did mine. Went right to the middle, and then you can see right here, I'm not all the way out at the end of the uh, horn, which helps the torque of the servo work to get this thing to engage and disengage. And to make this work, I did that. So basically I trimmed off the shoulder because the servo is really close to this piece right here and it works really, really well. The piece I had to shave on the motor is right there. You can see the shiny, it's on the bottom heat sink. The top heat sink is not shiny because I did not have to trim that. And I had to do that to get some clearance. This is what I had to do to the suspension arm. Now I wanna have to figure almost nobody uses that top hole so it shouldn't be an issue. I personally use the bottom hole on mine but you can still get the uh, second hole, I believe, pretty well. Top hole, yeah, it still works, but I don't use that one. So anyway, that was what I had to do to trim to make this motor fit. With the trimming of the mount and the motor piece, I've got just a little room for flex. Will this hit the motor under load? Maybe. Will it affect anything? Don't know, but we're about to find out. If there's anything about the capper that I really don't like, it's like working on a wraith. When you pull the motor to change it or, you know, just work on the transmission or anything, I end up with this almost every time. It's like, geez, it's a disaster. There it sits, ready to go. So the first thing we all want to see is how fast is it with the 11 tooth and 3S. That thing has a lot of pep. Feels more instant than the uh, Hobby Wing Axe 2300 I had in here. <laughs> I like it. Wow, drag brake for days. Let's go to the rocks. Wow, I can tell you right now, this thing's got a bunch of torque to it. In some ways, it almost feels as if I'm driving with the ax as far as, you know, just as far as the torque, the torque feel of it. <laughs> This motor is way better than the Crawlmaster Sport that I had. I mean, Crawlmaster Sport, you know, the 540 is only about $15. This one's $100. So, yeah, I guess you could say it's a big difference in price versus the other one. And the crawl master sport done fine. Instant power, instant brake. Wow. Yeah, it can crawl. <laughs> See if I can get this here. Let's try something. <laughs> that was a nice way across it. That's quiet, smooth. See if I can get some dig and drop this thing down right here. Back to some drive, back to some dig. Oh, oh, that front end is in a bad way right there. Oh, wow. 
the tie rod was actually under the edge of the rock through some creative turning I was able to get it up above the rock oh, that was a cool little drop Let's see if we can go up I'm pretty sure we can Now, we're going to have to do a little bit of driving. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe not so much four wheel steer. <laughs> All right, get back to front steer only. If I can get the thing over into this little bit right here, I might be able to bump it right on up. There we go. Wow. This thing may have more power than the ax, more punch. Now, usually in my videos, I'm running the uh, 1500 milliamp Helios 3S. And uh, for this one, I'm running the Gen's Ace 3600 milliamp. LIHV or the high voltage to this. So, when I spoke about the high voltage stuff, I asked would it be compatible, you know, with the Hobby Wing stuff. The guy says, yeah, the high voltage just kind of burns off so fast and then you end up with a normal 3S. And so far, I have not had any issues with the 3S stuff or the high voltage 3S. It's just simply ran just fine. As far as uh, high voltage making a difference on the drive, I haven't noticed that it was any benefit really. Maybe it's just me, but just haven't really noticed that. Now the Crawlmaster Sport has a lot, I guess, less drag brake. This one actually holds really good. Now let's try something. <laughs> wow. Wow, instant. This is like brushless power, man. No kidding. It's not Sam. Oh, look at that. Well, let's go ahead and try this climb right here since I've done it so many times. Just to see if I can continue to do it. You can see that motor in there. You can also hear a neighbor's kid yelling for some reason. You never can tell what's going on with these neighbors around here. Sometimes it's like, are they even okay? Ah, nice and easy. How's that for a U-turn? Go ahead and see if I can get up this thing real quick. Yep, easy. There we go, make that climb. I wanna try to get up this right here. I'm gonna watch that rear steer. See if I can somehow make it up into that oh wow look at that 
Now that rock right here in the middle might catch me. Let's see. No, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and flip the rear steer on. See if I can make this. And look at that. And there that thing is. Let's try some downhill. Some downhill control here. Let's see here. Very nice. Now we're going to go over here. <laughs> wow. I know I'm saying wow a lot, but this motor is insanely smooth and works really good in here. I may never put an axe back in this. Don't know yet. But then again, um, yeah, you never know what I may record. Wow. I thought maybe I broke something on that. Seems to be all right. I'm pretty sure I heard a click though. Yeah, seems to be okay. <laughs> Guys, I cannot say enough at how impressed I am with this Crawlmaster Pro 10 turn in the Capra. I mean, uh, you, you know, you throttle it up and it's bam, instant power. Sure, you can break some parts with that. You know, there's no slipper on this transmission. It's got that eliminator thing on it. But, uh, wow, um, I'm impressed. The low crawl ability with that motor and the BRXL, you know, that's awesome. I mean, really, really awesome. It had the 11 tooth pinion gear on it, which I think worked plenty good for me. Uh, now, you could also fit the 12, uh, 12 turn Crawlmaster Pro in here using the same method. So uh, if you don't really want all the speed you just saw, well, there you go. You can slow it down just a little bit more. It'll also pull a little lesser amps, maybe a little more efficient. Not that efficiency is a big deal, I don't think, in the Capras. But um, anyway, I'm absolutely happy with it. And there are links in the description to get this motor for your Capra or any truck. I mean, heck, I've run the thing in this. I've run it in the... TRX4 Sport, I'm, look, I'm looking for the truck here. Um, and the thing just runs great everywhere I put it. It even runs good with the 1080 as well. So, guys, um, check that description. If you got a Capra, if you're not afraid to lose a little warranty, get this thing in there. Guys, thank you all for watching.